Hey y'all. Y'all are going to see this video. Let's see. Today is Sunday. Um, I have a different video for tomorrow. You guys are probably going to see this video Tuesday. Even though the dates that I'm going to put on things are going to be Sunday. Um, I thought I would show you guys a little bit about how I do my... Um, monthly planner and my day planner so I can stay organized so grab a cup of coffee and sit with me and do stuff um, <laughs> I just keep um, my planner stuff in this I love glitter so this is my glitter binder um, my daily to-do lists this you saw in the video yesterday or today I mean um, that's eventually gonna be in here I just have a whole bunch of spiral notebooks that I'm trying to get used up first um, opened it up and I just have this situated with dividers I've got some stickers on it see I don't I'm not feeling uh, spending money on planners because the few times I did buy stuff like the happy planners and things um, they were pretty they were fun to play with but it's just paper that you're going to be throwing away unless you want to keep all your planners which I don't um, in here is um, just my basic this is everything I need except for my menu planner which my menu planner is an entirely different notebook. Um, this is my menu planner. And if anybody wants to see what's in here, um, just leave me a comment down below and I'll do a video on that one. But for today, I'm going to show you my regular planner. Um, this has a calendar, which is what we're going to work on today. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with that. This is my day planner which is eventually going to be this, but in here. Um, that's what's gonna go there. I have cleaning, which is, this is my daily as needed, um, weekly, room by room. Here, I can show you a little bit. I don't know if you guys can even read that if I can get it close enough. This is my daily to-do list. Um, weekly. This is how I ensure that the entire house gets deep cleaned every week. I do one room a day. Um, hall and bathroom, kitchen and dining. Um, living room, other bedroom. And... I also have stuff in here like um, monthly chores. This is like dust the ceiling fans, clean the windows, um, things like that. And then I have um, quarterly uh, maintenance. Like if you own your home, um, that's what this is for. Um, I have when did I list? This is for like keeping track of uh, when you changed your air filter or you know things like that that you have to um, change like your batteries for your smoke alarms and stuff like that this is a to-do list which is different from my daily to-do list this is all of the major projects um, like this I did a lot of this I have to revise this this is indoor chores um, I have stuff like design a Roblox game um, my nine-year-old son wants me to design a Roblox game that we can play together so I got to do that um, I got to do the weather stripping inside things like that for here and then I have outdoor projects, which that's a lot more involved. Outdoor projects, 
um, work on the garage and shed until they're done clean off the fence um, take down the greenhouse I actually did that but I didn't um, but yeah that's what that's for um, home improvement projects this is stuff I have to write down and save money for um, there's my budget I'm not going to even share that this is my gardening section this has notes things I want to plant things that did well notes 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 um, and the last one is my garden plan um, plan is not the right word but that yeah garden plans this is the um, I don't know if you guys can even see that. It's not done. But I did all the little artwork. Um, I think it looks really nice. I like it. Um, and that's all my garden stuff. But what we're working on today is the calendar. So I'm going to lay that over there. And like I said, I'm, I'm not wanting to um, use any particular paper. This, the filler paper is the cheapest, so that's what I get. Um, a lot of times for my planners, I will create a design like this one. This is my template for um, my calendar. I've got my month days of the week notes and then on the other side of the page see this is going to sit like this in my notebook it's going to sit like this and it'll be a whole calendar if like a fully functioning calendar so I've got the back on there like that that's my template what we're going to work on is the actual calendar I've already done the grid and I just did this with a pen and a ruler um, no big thing Got my stack of filler paper right there I'll work on one page at a time well maybe it's best if I see I'm so indecided when I do stuff it's not even funny So, August is halfway over, isn't it? Oh my goodness. August is almost over. Let me grab my phone so I have a calendar in front of me. Whee! Okay. So today is August 18th. The first was on Tuesday. I'm just looking at um, this one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick a color, any color, pick a color, any color, and do August. How about blue? We like blue. So, I'm trying to make sure y'all can see. Okay, so we're going to do August. Twenty twenty four. We're going to start on. I have to constantly move stuff to make sure you're in the frame. I'm not used to it yet. Um, I'll get used to it someday. 
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and see if you just get yourself some markers and pens and just some filler paper and a couple of nice binders, which by the way, a lot of your binders you can find in thrift stores for very, very cheap. Um, just saying, that's where I get some of mine. I'm just writing in, I'm tracing lines for a notes column, trying to make it look nice. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, unless you're the type of person that keeps every page from every planner, these are probably just going to be thrown away. And I'm a gardener, so most of my planner pages end up in my compost. So this is what we've got so far on this side so we've got sunday monday tuesday this and our notes section now this will be wednesday thursday friday and saturday Now, could you just print these off on your printer from free printables online? Sure. Um, I used to do that. But the price of printer ink, honestly, after you've gotten done printing all of your calendars and all of the other cute things that you can find on there, you may as well have bought one of the fancy happy planners as well as all the stickers and everything else for the price of the ink um <laughs> i'm not even playing it's it's bad y'all um all right thursday was the first of august so we're gonna go where do we want to put our number i'm gonna put it over here one two three and don't forget to go to your other Four, I'm kind of obsessive with paper and pens anyway. I really like writing. So this is probably why this suits me um, really well. I like to do a lot of journaling and things like that. Boy, I better stop talking while I'm doing this. I'm going to really mess up. My mind, um, I don't know, y'all. I have the attention span of a fruit fly. Um, 17, 18, 19, and we're going to have to overlap. 20, 23, 24. How many days in August? There are 31 days, jeez, in August. I'm going to have to overlap every single one of this bottom. And to overlap, all I'm going to do, I usually only have to do one or two of these. Um, I guess I should have done an extra row. But I didn't want to. So 24. I'm going to do this in the bottom corner. 25. 26. 27. 28. 29. 
30 and 31. And that's going to be it. That's all I'm going to do to it. I use all sorts of um, cute pens and things like that. My husband bought me a set of glitter gel pens a long time ago that I'm still using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. And this side is going to go over here. And I'm going to, I'm not doing it on camera, obviously, because that's just repetitive. You guys do not want to sit through me doing this over and over and over. I'm going to fill in the rest of my months for the year. But this is how it looks. Pretty good. And if you wanted to, you could decorate this with washi tape. Um, you could put stickers. You could do some doodles in the margins. You know what I mean? You could really dress this up and personalize it any way that you wanted to. I really highly suggest doing this um, if you don't want to pay for a planner but you kind of want one. Um, it's a fun project. If you have, you know, several hours just to sit down and, you know, meditate or zone out or whatever, just doing this. It's a good idea. It's a frugal idea. Or, you know, you could just fly by the seat of your pants and live life all willy-nilly and forget things. I used to do that, too. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up this, this vlog. Yeah, I'm going to wrap up this vlog for the day. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.